y'all? It's your girl, Sam Buchanan. I am back with another video. Today we got a hookah with us, you know. If you keep up with me, you know I broke my hookah. So I'm so glad that I have this new hookah here with me today. See, I got my natural hair out, you know. Never really wear it like this in a while. So I know I look a little bit bummy, but that's not the point. I'm just here to tell y'all the story about how I lost my V card. To get into the story, um, we're gonna be using the same character who cheated on me. Fred. If y'all don't remember Fred from my story time about how I got cheated on, go watch that story time. But if you don't, I'm gonna try to keep you up to speed with everybody else. Let's get into the video. So if you don't know, I met Fred through social media and we were talking for a little minute. And then we started dating about, I believe, our junior year in high school. And in that same exact month of us dating, at towards the end of the month, which is literally right by my birthday, Fred had a little altercation where I heard that he was getting twerked on at his best friend party. And you know, his best friend, his best friend is a girl. So he was getting twerked on by some girls on her party bus. And I was like, for it, really? Because at the time, I was sick. So, I'm like, dang, I'm over here sick, not feeling good, and you over here living your best life. After that whole situation, altercation, you know, in detail, it's explained in my other story time. We just started, like, arguing a lot. Like, we would argue for the littlest stuff, y'all. I can't even begin to think of what we would argue for. It got to the point where I don't even cry. I don't like getting emotional, but sometimes I would literally cry because i was like oh my god my relationship is literally like in shambles right now we are not connected at all i feel like we just need to break up this is not working for us i was just so depressed about it now i'm not even gonna say depressed but i was just like yo everybody feel like i'm in this healthy relationship and i'm not you know one day you know me and fred we had got into like a really deep conversation about our relationship just saying how it's not what it needs to be right now. Like, we was talking about breaking up, but we was like, nah, we feel like we could fix it. This and this and that. For some dumb reason, we came up with the fact that we can relieve our tension with doing it. I'm like, yo, well, where's this finna happen at? Because my first time is not finna be in a car. Period. So, he was like, oh, first of all, don't try my Honda, like, because he had a Honda at the time. So, he was like, oh, don't try my Honda, like, my Honda got space, like, we could do whatever in it. Da, da, da. I'm like, no, like, my first time needs to be on a bed, something romantic, roses, flowers, candles, where it's at. Like, my first time needs to be it. I already like the fact it's going to be with my boyfriend, even though he was not ish in a relationship little did i know at the time so i believe we i don't remember if we planned this the night before or while we were in school because we were literally always arguing while we were in school i just wanted to punch him sometimes you know so at the time like i said fred has been doing me dirty i've been telling my friends how he's been doing me dirty how we've been arguing just can't get along so I'm preparing myself to have my first time by myself. Like, I can't even go to my friends and be like, yo, have you? Da, da, da. Like, and mind you, my friends didn't even like Fred just because of the fact that how much of a hoe he was before we got into a relationship and how much shit had already happened while we were in a relationship. So I can't go to them and be like, oh, me and Fred plan to do this after school. Like, you know, they was gonna be like judging me, like, and I didn't want them to do that. I wanted them to be like, y'all know how it be when your friends do not like your significant others. So I didn't want to go to them about it. So nobody knew this was finna go down inside me and Fred. Of course, we would have had to do it in a freaking car. And like I said before in my other story time when I talked about how he cheated on me. Um, still recovering from that. Just kidding. Anyways, so we, he picked me up or whatever. And basically, we just, <laughs> basically, we go searching to figure out where we're going to do it at. Like, this time it's like so corny, bro, but I got to tell it. Um, so we look in, 
we like, dang, like, we finna not do it at this point. Like, time's passing by because, mind you, I usually come home at a certain time at the time my grandmother was with me. So she knew my schedule. Like, she knew, like, what's the latest I usually be coming home or whatever. So I'm like, yo, in a minute, we finna have to reschedule this job because, yo, we trying to find a place that's taking forever right now. So we ended up coming. I was like, oh, there's this park that my brother goes to hoop at. We can go there. Like, it's usually, like, nobody over. It's a really low-key ducked off park, but people do know about it. And with the time frame it was, I'm like, no kids should be here right now. Everybody should be, like, in school or getting out of school type stuff. So we go there. Tell me why the freaking park is under construction. I'm like, when has this park ever been under construction? Like, don't nobody even know about this park for real, for real. Unless you just gang for real. <laughs> So me and Freya, whatever, we find this one spot. It was like not necessarily a forest, but y'all know Georgia. Georgia's pretty country. And it had like trees and stuff. And it was like a nice spot literally for a car to be. Not necessarily ducked off because you can definitely see the road or whatever, but it was hidden by trees a little bit. I'm like, we was finna do there, but I'm like, nah, bro, like my first time i would like to have some privacy i would like to not be worried i would like to not be caught because mind you if you get caught having you know scx in a car that's like time or whatever i believe you get like a charge for that so i'm like nah like that's embarrassing if we get caught first time i already don't want to do it in the car we're not gonna do it right here you can still people can still see if they were still you know come past so he like all right whatever so we keep driving and we come across this church. There was nobody at the church and the church parking lot was empty. So he gonna look at me like. And I'm looking at him like. Is it crack? Is that what you smoke? Do you smoke crack? Like, no, we're not finna do it at no church. <laughs> like, are you tripping right now? Like, we're not finna do it at no freaking church. God would really strike me down or. I'm gonna get pregnant just because I decided to be disrespectful and that's not it. Definitely don't want to be that. Definitely don't want to. I need to hoop it to that. I need to hoop it to that. We drove down the street just a little bit more and lo and behold, this abandoned, abandoned building with like, it has a dirt path on the side of it and behind it. So the only thing is that like, it was a house across the street and the house right next to it but it was definitely some space between the building and the house um so we went in we pulled in at first or whatever right behind the building so you can't see the car unless you're just on the street coming around the bend at an angle where you can see some a car is behind the building so he was like nah i'm a back in just in case you know some ish happened even though if somebody was to come and be like yo like we we would be looking dumb as f trying to get out of there we literally have to go right past them just to get out so, but it was still like way more ducked off than any other spot that we had seen. So that's where we had went. So mind you, I'm a virgin. Fred's not a virgin. So he, of course, as the nigga, took more control. So we get to we we get comfortable, whatever. We got the music playing, and I'm sorry, but I have to go into detail because the story time is about my first time. So it's a little weird for me and y'all. So basically, Fred was like, get in the back. And I was like, okay. I was like, mm. So when I get in the back or whatever, and Fred, if you're watching this, if I like miss tell some stuff, it's cause my memory ain't too straight, but I'ma just piece the stuff together what I can. But anyway, Cause I want him to be like, girl, that did not happen. But this is what I could think of to remember to even tell y'all. I'm small, I'm very small. So I climb in the back. I don't even get out the car. And Fred is out of the car because Fred is tall. I'm short. So I could do I could do that. He can't. And he's like, take your clothes off. I was like, alright. So 
we foreplay or whatever. Like I said, we have the music going. So it's not like weird or nothing. Like, Because we're boyfriend and girlfriend. So it, nothing is really necessarily weird. It's just me being not, not nervous, but you know, it's my first time. You feel me? I'm not sure how this is supposed to go. I never went past this part before. So Fred is like, um, we get to a point where we can, you know, do the interaction. You feel me? So, my job, it's raining, like, I don't know if it was raining bad, but it was raining enough. So, it's kind of like the perfect scene for a, a for car SCX, you feel me? So, we in the back seat, whatever. Like I said, first of all, I'm short, so I have to get on top of him. And when I tell y'all that junk hurts, like, it hurts. Like, I had to, I had to be like, I have an address, so I ain't finna try to show y'all too much of what I try to do. But, um, uh, imagine y'all Fred, right? And, like, I'm trying to sit, and I'm just trying to, like, he trying to, like, push me down. And I'm like, yo, chill out. Like, he like, okay, 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 okay. And I'm just sitting there, like, Inching myself down, like ugh, when I tell y'all, it hurts so bad. Like it hurts, and it's especially when you're dealing with somebody with that mother. <laughs> Anywho, for some reason, your girl don't know what to do though. So I don't even watch that type of stuff on like the internet. So it really didn't work out. Like we were able to do it that way, but. You know, of course, when you're having SCX, you're gonna do multiple positions. So, we, he was like, okay, you know, bend over, whatever, like that. So, my job, we're in a car, and Fred is tall, so we gotta like, make it work, <laughs> type stuff. So, I'm literally like, on the window, like, mind you, like, y'all, this the window. This the window. <laughs> When I tell y'all I'm smushed in this window, I'm smushed in this window, like smushed in that window. And it gave me the worst back pain ever. Like my back was, it had a crook in it after that jump. And all I know is, I think I had noticed that I was bleeding. Cause you know, obviously with it being my first time, my cherry popped. And we just, I was just like, he was like, do you want to stop? And I feel like, y'all may think I'm just a sucker for that. But I feel like that was so cute. He was like, we can stop if you want to. Like, da-da-da. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like, I want to stop. Very great decision that I did. Let me tell y'all why. So we stopped or whatever, you know, cleaned up, all that, you know, and he took me home. Tell me why, y'all, when he took me home, five to ten minutes, not even five to ten, maybe five minutes. Minutes later, my mom and my grandma walked through the door. Mind y'all, I have an apartment. And they know that I'm supposed to get home earlier than that time. So imagine if me and Fred would have kept going. And I came in late. And they would have been like, girl, why are you coming in so late? Like, you should have been home. You know, me and Fred, we were just talking about, like, what happened or whatever. This and this and that. And it was like, oh, well, yeah, we could try again tomorrow. Because, you know... I should be good tomorrow now that my cherry has popped, you know, it should be more smoother, I guess. It shouldn't hurt as much. So that's what we did. We literally went like back to the same spot and this time your girl, your girl was ready. Like me and Fred, we, we, we was Gucci that day, we didn't argue. <laughs> I know y'all like, duh, y'all ain't argue shit, y'all got checked out. But anyway, we went back to that same spot and we basically did the same exact shit all over again. But this time the girl was ready, so, you know, for the details, your girl did, cow girl, all that stuff like that. So Fred was like, dang, like, you sure you're a virgin? I was like, Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thigh shit. Post me a pic, finna make me a private. mother I'm like, you, listen, don't play with her. Fred texts me to, um... We finish up or whatever. Mind y'all, now my back hurts even worse because that crick in my back, like, <sighs> nothing to play with. Like, 
have my back hurting. And like I said, me and Fred, we was arguing so much before we did that. And so he took me back to the school because I had something else to go. I had to go back to school so I could do something else. And like I said, I didn't tell my friends because my friends didn't like Fred. So I was not going to tell my friends, oh yeah, I had my, I want to tell them, oh yeah, I had my first time. But first of all, I'm not no kiss and tell person anyways. But on top of the fact they didn't like Fred, I was definitely not going to tell them I had my first time with Fred. So I went back to the school, whatever, and I see one of my homeboys. And I guess I was looking happy and jolly. He was like, I see you get out that car. Mm -hmm, I already know what y'all's doing. And I just started laughing because I'm like, listen, you don't even know the half. And ever since then, y'all, me and Fred, we ain't had no problems. For a minute, we didn't have no problems. Like, I feel like the only thing that kept our relationship going for so long is because we did it. You feel me? And that's bad. Like, you should not have to do that in order to keep your relationship alive. I feel like that is definitely not needed because I'm a type of person where, especially, like, now, like, after him, I'm the type of person where I don't want to do it all the time. Like, that's basically my first time with my ex-boyfriend, who was my boyfriend at the time, and also cheated on me. And I also found out that a week before we had our first time he had sex with another girl which i explained in my story time about how i got cheated on and once me and him started having scx he stopped having scx with her so basically he was only having scx with her because i wasn't having scx with him that just shows how much niggas is just not shit but anyway, that was my first time. Don't believe that SCX can fix a relationship because it can't. It definitely did not fix my relationship. All it did was prolong it. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe for more story times and leave some topics below. You know, any type of topic y'all want me to talk about, I can figure out if I have a story time for it.